Hi, my name is Dean Paul Denniston, and today we'll be replacing the front wheel and inner tube on our Razor Pocket Mod. This is a relatively easy process. Some parts may get a little tricky, but don't worry, I'll guide you through them. This process can be completed in 20 minutes. You will need the following tools. Two standard screwdrivers, two 15 millimeter wrenches, and a tire pump. Mine's electric, but you can use a manual one if that's all you have. This process can be completed in four easy steps. Step one, removing the front wheel. Step two, removing the tire and the inner tube. Step three, installing your new inner tube and tire. And step four, reinstalling the wheel. Now let's get started on step one, removing the front wheel. Using your two 15 millimeter wrenches, loosen the bolts on both sides of the wheel. Now slide the washers with the tabs out and slide the wheel off. And that concludes step one, removing the front wheel. Now onto step two, removing the tire and the inner tube. I've put the wheel in a vise so you can get a better view, but you do not really need one as you can just do it on the table. First, we need to deflate the tire. Remove the dust cap. Now using your standard screwdriver, press the pin down on the inside of the valve stem You'll want to get out as much air as possible. So while holding the pin down, squeeze around the tire to try to get more air out. Starting across from the stem, insert your standard screwdriver between the rim and the tire and carefully pry the tire outward. We're starting across from the valve stem, otherwise it may get damaged. You wanna use two screwdrivers to keep the tire from popping back inside the rim. Be patient as this is the most tedious part. Work both sides around evenly to make it to the valve stem. Using your thumb, press the valve stem through the rim into the tire. Now using your standard screwdrivers, pry the tire off the rim. Use one screwdriver as an anchor and pry around with the other. Now that we have the tire separated from the rim, we can pull the inner tube out of the tire. Gently pull it out. And that concludes step two, removing the tire and the inner tube. Now onto step three, installing our new inner tube and tire. With your new inner tube, insert it inside of the tire. Just feed it all the way around. Now we can put the rim back on. First, insert the valve stem through the hole in the rim. Hold the stem and slide the rim down on top of it. Now using your standard screwdriver, pry along the tire to get it over the rim. Once you got that first lip over the rim, go to the other side and make sure the inner tube is inside of the rim. Use your standard screwdriver and pry the tire the rest of the way on. Make sure to be very careful you don't puncture the inner tube. With the tire fully mounted, you can now pump it up using your tire pump. Inflate your tire to 40 PSI. Remove your tire pump and reinstall the dust cap. That concludes step three, installing our new inner tube and tire. Now onto step four, reinstalling the wheel. Slide all the washers outward, insert the wheel, rotate the washers with the tabs until the tabs drop into the holes in the fork, gently tighten them by hand. Once they're snug, take your two 15 millimeter wrenches and tighten them down all the way. With both sides tight, that concludes step four, reinstalling the wheel. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. But if you're still having any other troubles or complications, please feel free to visit the customer support section on Razor.com. Now get out there and have some fun. Bye-bye.